He shouldn't be in the. In the it, look, he's a sick puppy. Uh, he, he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be there. I didn't expect that he'd be standing there, trying to shake hands with every senator and the president of the United States. It's, uh, given given the fact that he's under ethics investigation, he should be sitting in the back row and staying quiet. Senator Mitt Romney does not appreciate the existence of congressmen, freshman congressman, of course, George Santos, a well known notorious liar. And he had a, an uncomfortable moment with him uh, right before Joe Biden's State of the Union address. This is the moment that we're talking about. Um, everyone noticed it, everyone was wondering what was happening. You can see him getting accosted by Senator Mitt Romney. You can't hear what they're saying, but you can tell that it's combative. And so reporters managed to catch up with Romney later, and he explained why he has such an issue with George Santos. So why don't we watch the rest of that video? He says he, says he uh, you know, that he embellished his record. Look, embellishing is saying you got an A when you get an A minus. Lying is saying you you graduated from a college you didn't even attend. And, and he shouldn't be in Congress, and uh, they're going to go through the process and hopefully get him out. And uh, but he shouldn't be there. And, and uh, if he had any shame at all, he wouldn't be there. Why did, did you, you make him? a point to say that, though? I mean, it, you went. I mean, it was kind of out of your way to. Well, to he was say standing that. right there in the aisle, shaking hands with everybody. Did he respond to you? Uh, he, he may have. I didn't hear anything he said. <laughs> Punk may have, but I didn't hear anything he said. <laughs> Look. Uh, I, for the most part, have no problem with Mitt Romney accosting George Santos and, and calling him out for what he is. George Santos, for his part, feels that this was unmormon like behavior coming from Mitt Romney. I know, I know. And George Santos is in a position to criticize. He <laughs> right. is, after all, Mormon. <laughs> right, right. Right now. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, now, with that said, I do have a critique for Mitt Romney. Before I get to that critique, I want to give you a chance to jump yeah, in. Yeah, I, I would just love to get into Mitt Romney's head very briefly and figure out is he doing a sick puppy? thing, which is a good insult. In this particular case, because George Santos stole dog cancer funds, is that why you mentioned it? Oh, Maybe, I didn't think about that. And, and is that a worthwhile burn to do risking that people might remember that wasn't it Mitt Romney that like put the dog on the roof of the car or whatever? Wasn't that a big thing during his presidential thing? He had bringing, it in the cage okay. or whatever up there. Thank you for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. Because when he said sick puppy, I'm like, oh, Romney. This would have been a win, a 100% win, if you found a different insult. Yes. Because when you say puppy or when you make a reference to canines, the mind wanders <laughs> to an incident that we learned about when you ran for president in 2012. And that incident had to do with your family dog, Seamus. So in 1983, he and his family were on a trip to Canada. They're mm -hmm. on the road. They're gonna travel hundreds of miles to go to this place in Canada. But they want to take their family dog, Seamus, with them. They put the dog in like a crate. And then they put the crate on top of the car. Okay, that is insane. The trip was over 600 miles long, 12 hour trip. No, get a load of this, okay? I, I went back and read up about it just to remember all the details. Yeah. Their dog Seamus rode in a carrier on the roof of the family's Chevrolet Capri station wagon for the 12 hour trip. Romney had built a windshield, Oh, is he not merciful? A windshield for the carrier to make the ride more comfortable for the dog, but apparently it didn't work. Want to know why? During the 650 mile trip, Seamus got diarrhea. The Romneys were first alerted to the Irish setter's bowel issues when Tag, their child, noticed brown liquid pouring down the back window, followed immediately by him and his younger brothers yelling in disgust. Romney stopped at a gas station to wash the dog, the carrier, and the car. With Seamus back in the carrier, the family continued on their way. Why did you say sick puppy, Romney? Yeah. Not good, very bad. Also. You're an awful person for doing that to the dog. Yeah. Like awful. Uh, I think it might be Seamus. I just Whatever. don't want to insult I've, our I've Scottish audience. Oh, or, apologies um, to the Irish. I've never heard I that. I am name so before. glad that you did that research because I don't I don't know that I was here when that story first came about. I didn't know that he built the windscreen. I thought it was an accident that he put him up there. He intentionally no, no. put him up there. That's so much worse than what I already thought. And after the diarrhea incident. 
He's like, yeah, I'm gonna put the dog back in the crate. That is just wild. Don't bring the dog then or leave Tag home, I don't know. One of our producers, I'm not gonna name who it is, just wrote in and said jokingly, but, but probably not, death penalty for Romney. <laughs> Which, by the way, if anyone did that to my dog. Oh my God. Um, yeah. Anyway, other than that, I like his indignation over George Santos. He seems like the sort of, he seems like an old school, old money kind of rich person who sees government service is a thing I'm gonna do and then I'm also gonna benefit corporations or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he's exactly the sort of person who'd be most personally offended by a George Santos. Yeah. But yeah, I'd hate seeing him shaking hands and stuff. I mean, I'd be equally mad at seeing like Marjorie Green shaking hands and banging the gavel and pretending that she's a congressperson a or a human person. or <laughs> yeah. whatever. Um, but yeah, I can understand his frustration. But I'm never gonna forgive him for what he did to poor Seamus. No, me boy. either, I he can't forget better. that. And now that he referenced sick puppies, it's like, how could you not think about poor Seamus? Yeah. I mean, poor, poor dog. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.